Hey everybody, it's Matt Shu from Upright Health and in today's video we're going to be talking about the perfect angle for your hips while you're sitting. I am coming to you from a hotel room in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, where I shot a video about proper workstation ergonomics and how you can pack your bags to make sure you have the things you need to work comfortably when you're traveling. If you haven't watched that video, I'm going to link it in the description section on YouTube. And on this video, Alec Rasal actually asks about um, some research, recent research that claims that 100 to 135 degrees um, between your femur and your torso is actually the best angle that you can sit at if you're going to be sitting for long periods of time. And he said, uh, according to this research, that sitting at a 90 degree angle stresses out your spine, stresses out your muscles. And uh, Alec wanted to know what I thought about that. So we're going to be talking about that here today in this video. For the other people who commented on the video a few days ago, um, I know you're also going to be anxiously awaiting answers to your comments and questions. So if you just go ahead and fast forward to the end of this video, you're gonna find answers to your comments and questions. So guys, thanks for commenting and questioning, and uh, I'm gonna reward you by answering stuff at the end. Okay, so what the heck are we talking about with this hip angle? So if we look at the femur and then the torso, what we're looking for is this angle. And the research that uh, Alec was talking about was basically saying well, you want to maintain about a 135 degree angle here um, in order to not stress your back. So that would look something like this, 135 degree angle here. This research, the research that I could find on this um, started showing up around 2006 and I can only really find one study that claims that this is true. And basically what they said was um, they took a bunch of people, they took 22 people and they said let's check to see what happens to their discs when we put them in different positions. And they, as near as I can tell, they basically check to see how much the discs um, change their shape. Um, and from that, they determined that the, disc cha the change in the disc shape was indicative of uh, stress to the spine and to the ligaments of the spine and, the, and all that stuff. Um, so there's a number of issues that I would say exist for the conclusions they've drawn. Uh, they said basically that since sitting up at 90 degrees, um, meaning right here, 90 degrees, um, seemed to cause the most movement of the discs, that that was necessarily bad for your spine. Um, and in fact, they said that even slouching forward um, was better than actually being at 90 degrees, just based on their own uh, metrics. There's some things you have to take with a grain of salt there. So uh, if you're considering that the disc movement is actually indicative of back pain or future back pain, you have to realize that there's no evidence for that. There's basically no evidence for that. Also, just check against your own experience. Do you think this is actually a better position for you than here? And if it's not, why not? Let's assume even that disc movement is a bad thing and that that disc movement would uh, be indicative of some sort of stress and strain that would hurt your back. Assume that's true and assume that this position actually is better for your back. What do you think is going to happen in terms of your shoulder comfort, your hand and wrist comfort, your head and neck comfort if you are in fact always in a 135 degree angle? This is really not going to be ideal, especially if you make no changes to the rest of the situation. Now, I have seen some desks that actually have you reclined and you're, you have to have your monitor up above you like you're in a dentist chair, which is awesome and sort of weird looking. Um, but think about the long-term consequence. Can your body maintain strength, stability, mobility if you are constantly reclined back like this? No matter how comfortable your spine may be, this is really not that great a position. And if you actually read some of the articles um, that these researchers um, were featured in, the same ones who were talking about this 135 degree angle, they actually very clearly say there is no one specific position that is ideal for long periods of time. This may feel okay, this may be uh, a way to minimize disc movement, but that doesn't mean this is a perfect position. The reality is there's no perfect position. There's a lot of decent positions and you want to figure out what they are for you. And generally that means actually, in my opinion, being in positions where the structures of your body, the solid structures of your body are providing support. 
which means your spine, meaning bones, are able to sit on top of each other in a fairly efficient way where they're just stacked on top of each other. And muscles just work dynamically to help you stabilize around a pretty comfortable center point. At some point, of course, if you're sitting like this, even if you're sitting perfectly with perfect posture for 14 hours a day, you're not going to be comfortable. Your muscles are going to get tired. Different things are going to be a little bit sore. Okay, but in general, if you're going to be sitting and trying to work, you don't want to be sitting in a position where you have a bunch of muscles trying to maintain a position and fighting to hold you in this position. You can sit here and play video games like this all day. This is how I used to do it. And my shoulders and neck would get all jacked up and my hands and wrists and everything would get all screwed up because the front of my shoulders would get too tight. These muscles would get overactive and then I'd get all this weird numbness and tingling. So do I personally think you need to be back in 135? Absolutely not. I think this is a terrible position to be in while trying to do anything. Frankly, I would fall asleep if I tried to work in this position. Do I think 90 degrees is perfect? I don't think it's perfect, but I think it's a much better idea. And I think it's um, kind of crazy to think uh, that being in a 90 degree angle with your hips is bad for your back. Why would I think it's crazy to say that sitting at a 90 degree hip angle is bad for you and that 135 degrees is the best for you? Well, think about this from a historical perspective. Look at this culturally all around the world. How many societies have worked quite well with people sitting at 90 degree hip angles. Over time, that has not really been a problem. Also, you look around Asia, pretty much all of Asia, the position I'm sitting in right now is way less than 90 degrees. Uh, and it's nowhere near close to 135 degree angle. And if you go all over the world, you'll see people work in this position doing manual labor without issue. You can see fishermen squatting on the edges of boats like this. You'll see people working in fields in this deep, deep squat position, and it causes no issue, okay? So realize that the more important piece, in my opinion, is movement and learning to be able to move your body well and move your body in a variety of ways so that you don't let muscles get uh, dysfunctional, tight, weak. Um, and that way you're able to maintain a broad range of motions and you don't sit around fearing that you're going into a bad position, quote unquote. So Alec, find a comfortable position. Don't try to find the perfect, but find a pretty good one and move around a little bit. And remember that there is just no such thing as perfect. Okay, Simo asks, WordPress developer? Maybe. I do things in WordPress, but does that make me a developer? No one take this name says, I use Vega too. In reference to the protein powder uh, bottle jug thing that you saw in that previous video, that protein powder I just started using and uh, it's the least horrible tasting that I've found so far. Um, and my body seems to tolerate it well, so awesome. Finally, Tiffany Chowable. Comments, Upright Health is the best channel I have ever seen for human beings on Earth. Well, Tiffany Chobel, you are the best YouTube viewer I have ever seen for human beings on Earth. All right, guys, that does it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and please remember that pain sucks. Life shouldn't.